And brothers and sisters of the congregation, tonight I do have a treat for you. I'll be doing a live telephone interview with Lee Ving. In case you don't know, Lee Ving is the singer-guitar player for the legendary punk band Fear. They're based in uh, L.A., California, I believe, maybe Texas. And Lee Ving and Fear uh, released their first record in 1978, and the band has released four albums. They are very notorious. Uh, if you're not into the punk rock scene, uh, you're missing out, man. These guys are just notorious completely. One of, for some reason, we're in the Midwest, and a lot of people here like the band Fear. And I've always been a fan, and I, I'm real happy to have Lee Ving on. And he's also a, an actor. He's been in movies with Tommy Lee Jones and other people. And uh, I'm just going to go from that. And the only other thing I need to say is that John Belushi used to party with Lee Ving, okay? And they're, they, it was actually his favorite band. Fear was John Belushi's favorite band, and they actually appeared on Saturday Night Live once. And I'm going to introduce Lee Ving. Now, you there, Lee? How do you do? How do you do Great Central Plains in the United States from Chicago to St. Louis? Hey, how you doing, brother? Good to talk to you, man. Uh, I've actually witnessed your band live before and thought it was awesome. Uh, and I, uh, I know you're recording a new Fear record, right? That's right. We're in the process of doing that now. It should be out September 5th. It uh, will probably be called uh, Fear for President, Beer Forever. Or Fear for President, Fear Forever. So, of course, that's... Or, or Lost in Los Angeles. That's yeah. the title of one of the songs. I don't know. We don't know what to call it yet. But oh, yeah? We're working on it. Who's in the band? Anybody to mention? Sure. The drummer's name is Andrew Jaimez, and the bass player's name is Mondo Lopez, and the guitar player, the other guitar player besides myself, named uh, Richard Presley. Richard Presley? Yeah, he's actually related to Elvis. Yep. Presley. Oh, yeah? <laughs> is he from the South, man? Huh? Is he from the South? Yeah. Awesome, man. South Los Angeles. South of Los Angeles. What do you think about today's punk rock scene, man, and in America? I, I, uh, I'm glad to see anybody be successful in anything. Okay. I, I don't pay that much attention to it, quite honestly. So you guys formed in 1978, correct? We've been going since about that time, that's true, right and about then. And I think the album, the first record, Fear the Record, came out in 1981. But now. before that, you had a 7-inch record out called I Love Living in the City, which we're going to play after the interview. Oh, good. Well, that was your debut, right? That was our first entry. That was Spears first entry into the record market. Okay, and then after that, they had a record out on Slash Records in 81 called The Record, and then uh, more beer after that on Enigma, right? Slash Records, or Fear the Record, and that was in 1981, that's right. Then about two or three years later, uh, more beer, and that was on Restless, no, Enigma at that time. Aha. Uh -huh. Then uh, uh, Live for the Record, which became a Restless record, and uh, then uh, Have Another Beer with Fear, on Fear Records, which is about to be re-released on Hall of Records, which uh -huh. is the same record company that will be releasing uh, Fear's new record, uh, Fear for President, Fear Forever. So, uh, in case anybody hasn't seen it, you can actually get a movie that Fear's in, uh, one of several, I'm sure, but, but this is called uh, The Decline of Western Civilization, and it's a killer documentary on the L.A. punk scene and the California deal that was going on back th in them days, and Fear kind of stole the show in that, in that video, and they're like, you guys are kind of notorious because of that. Um, do you guys still have people spit at you in shows and stuff like no. that? No. No? What do you uh, do? We, we, have them, we have them thrown out without getting their money refunded, so people stopped doing that a long time ago. Okay, is Budweiser still your favorite beer, Lee? Uh, no. no. I would have to say that Guinness Stout uh, and uh, Bass Ale and uh, maybe Shiner Bach. <laughs> Good stuff, man. From, uh, from down around Austin, Texas. You know, I uh, read the John Belushi biography, Wired, and of course there's stuff in there about you guys. According to sources, John Belushi, basically, uh, you were his favorite band. Is that true, man? Well, we were real good friends. And you guys and used to uh, play, like, jam together and stuff. But, like, he that, That's true. He sat in and played drums with us at the Whiskey A Go Go one night. He did, did really well. He played the, a tune that we used to play called We Gotta Get Out of This Place. He played the, the daylights out of it. A little uh, animals tune there. That's right. And, uh, you know, he would do that every now and again. Yeah, he, he was really cool, and uh, he was a friend of ours. You'd have to say that. So did you guys get into some major partying or what? Not like the book would have you believe. Really? So that, was, that was just, uh, you know, we all said that we weren't going to talk to this guy, Bob Woodward, because we didn't trust him. We didn't like what he was saying originally when he contacted us. Right. But uh, one of us did speak to him and uh, gave a lot of erroneous information, just trying to build up his own stock on the street, I believe. And we fired him right after that. And you guys recorded a song with Belushi once that was supposed to be uh, used at the end of the film Neighbors. That wasn't That's right. That's right. I read about that too somewhere. It's a song that, uh, that I wrote for John to sing, and he eventually did wind up singing it. And it just didn't make it into the film, but it still exists on tape, and we may release it. 
Awesome, man. And you're also an actor. I don't know a lot of. Do you talk about that much when you do the interviews? Sure. Uh, how many? I, I, I enjoy doing it very much. How many have, uh, films have you been in, man? I think uh, in total, uh, somewhere between 20 and 30. Really? Because I was checking out the internet, and there's a lot of le leaving like website things you can go to. A ton of them, as a matter of fact. And I went oh, on. Good. <laughs> I mean, there was like a hundred. I'm serious. I, I went on there. I couldn't believe it. I just well, went, I think that uh, people should look for there to be more of that. There, uh, there'll be more TV and movie stuff, I believe, in the near future. Any uh, names you can throw it to the listening uh, audience here that uh, they may have heard of it that you've appeared in, like film-wise? Oh yeah. I know you were in the movie Dudes. I was in a movie called Flashdance. Yeah. And uh, a movie called Streets of Fire with Willem Dafoe. And, uh, and you were in the one with Tommy Lee Jones, right? Tommy Lee Jones movie that I did was called Black Moon Rising. That's right, yeah. And uh, me and Tommy Lee spent the whole time just beating the tar out of each other. It was fun. He and seems he like a, a cool guy, man. He had a really good time. Yeah, he's very cool. Well, yeah, I know, you know, you're also your band, uh, the original Fear, we don't really have to go into talking about the original musicians, of course, Dirk Scratch and other guys. But also, people probably don't know, but one of your bass players who actually replaced Dirk, I believe, was Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? That's exactly right. So he was in your band uh, in about 80, 82 or so, right? Yeah, it, and it's just unfortunate that during the time he was with us, we were not in the studio recording. Right. And, uh, you know, we don't have a document of that. But we still speak to the Flea, and, and uh, we have also thought that we might do an all-original members project at some point in the near future. Right. Which would include Flea, and uh, he said he was interested, so we, we're... We continue to work. That's that. awesome, man. <laughs> what, what about, uh, are you, what do you think about Howard Stern? Uh, I don't spend any time thinking about that at all. Oh, okay, so you're not a fan or either one way or another? No. Uh-huh. When, when the new CD's out, man, you guys going to be doing any dates or what? Are you going to hit the, hit the road or what? Yes. <clears throat> I expect to be everywhere in September in a, in a theater driving near you. Yeah, it'd be great to <laughs> drive in. There's no drive-ins left around here, man. That's, That's right, not anywhere else. It really sucks. There's some There's places... a lot of cell phone towers. Yeah, exactly. There's one up by Chicago I found actually recently, but uh, <laughs> that's about two and a half hours from here. Here's something I want to do, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, if I name a, if I name some people, can you tell me what, what word pops in your mind when you hear these words? Um, well, we'll try a couple of them. Okay, how about the Kiss Farewell Tour? I'm, I'm always glad to see people do well, like I said. Okay, how about uh, Jello Biafra? I, I don't say... Uh, I don't think that Jello and I have ever met. Okay, I just I didn't know if there's ever a connection with you and those maximum rock and roll people or what. You know, they they were kind of politically correct. <laughs> Which I know you guys really aren't, weren't known for being Mr. Politically Correct Band or anything. <laughs> Quite yet. Yeah. Uh, tried to have a sense of humor. That was all. And most people don't have. Oh, hey, somebody I talked to uh, saw you guys out in Massachusetts uh, in '83 or '84, and they wanted me to ask you this, man. You guys played some place called Exit 13. And uh, supposedly, one of these guys threw a dirty diaper at you. <laughs> we want to know if you remember that or not. No, uh, pe <clears throat> people make up all kinds of stories to you know, wonder why someone would spend any time on, a, on one like that. <laughs> exactly. Are you guys on a, on a label right now or anything then? Or? That's right, we are. Okay, <clears throat> what's the label? It's, the company's called Hall of Records. Okay. You got a website or anything? And there'll be a website and everything and all like that. There's a, you can get me at the, uh, Ving at Flash.net. And Fear also has a web page, but uh, I'd have to dig up the, the handle of that one. Okay, would you want to take a phone call or two from a fan or no? Sure, why not? If you got a question for Lee Ving and you're serious, and, and no cussing on the air, please, give me a buzz, 686-9240. I know there's some Fear fans out there listening to this that would probably like to talk to Lee. So if you got to do it, do it now, because I'm looking at the phone and it's not lighting up yet. So uh, give it another second here, Lee, see what happens, man. <laughs> so you're out in L.A. right now, huh? That's right. Ah, L.A., I've only been there one time. Good town. A lot of stuff goes on here. Yeah, I was out there, uh, I don't know, like 91 or something. 92, checked out San Francisco. Here's a caller. Let's check it out, man. Rock 106. Uh, yeah, I got a question for him. Okay. i like to know when the band originally started up. It was about 1979, actually. 78, 79, something like that. That was when the first, uh, the first of these tunes got written and, you know, the... Uh, there were some local performances, etc. So that's when we'd say we started. Okay, thanks, man. You bet. All yep. Right, later. Bye. All right, let's see if we get another call here for leaving before we let you go and, and actually play some of your music, man. Uh, oh, here's another one. Let's check it out. Rock 106, hello. Yeah, um, I just had a comment. You guys were the tightest band on the Western Civilization oh, movie. Thank you. All the other bands. Uh, 
You guys are pretty tight on that. Well, what about the germs? <laughs> well, they were cool. <laughs> so we could all play, and that uh, people used to, uh, you know, uh, try to give us trouble over that. They called us musos. <laughs> you guys kicked ass. Hey, thanks, man. Okay, yeah. later. Okay, can we get another one? Can we take another call from Mr. Leaving of the band Fear? He's on the phone now. Come on, come on. I know a few people that really wanted to talk to you. Here's another one. Rock 106. Hello. Hey. Yeah. What's happening? How you doing? You got a question for Leaving? Hello? <laughs> Somebody's playing head games. They just wanted to be on the air because I think they, uh, they need to make up for some uh, weird sexual something that's gone wrong in their lives. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and let you go, Lee, I think, man. Is there anything else we can uh, ask you about your new album? Or uh, You said September will be out, right? Yeah, it'll be out September 5th. It's on, it's on a label entitled Hall of Records. Hall of Records. And, uh, and the title is still kind of tentative, right? Yeah, we're not sure what we're going to call it, but it has lots to do with beer. Lots to do with beer. That seems to be one of your favorite topics. So you, <laughs> you, you don't drink, do you? Uh, well, you know, only, uh, only with either hand. <laughs> exactly. Not, not. Uh, I don't drink anymore, but certainly no less. Exactly. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, man. It's good to talk to you. I'd like to get you back on the air another time again. Maybe get some CDs from me to play more material by. Sure enough. But uh, hey, appreciate it, Lee. I, how to do to everybody? Whatever you get by fear, play it loud and have a beer with fear. All right. Appreciate the uh, interview, and you take care, brother. You too. See, you, Lee. Bye. There you have it. The interview with Lee Ving from the band Fear. If you tried to call and you didn't get through, it's your own damn fault because I was waiting. Right now, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and play a tune by the band Fear. Appreciate Lee Ving for doing that, man. He's a cool guy, and uh, I'm a big fan of theirs. And uh, this song here is by Fear. It's called More Beer on Rock 106.